Alright guys, today I'm going to be explaining how to use Smithbox and to, you know, uh, basically update an old mods regulation bin to work with, you know, the new DLC for Elden Ring, because uh, I even had a video explaining how to use uh, DS Map Studio, but that's completely out of date now, it doesn't work, it's not updated, unless you're on the previous patch. And I've had a lot of people on that old video still, like, kind of using it, getting, you know, problems running into it, and then that's why I had to, like, you know, finally post the top comment saying, hey, this doesn't work anymore. I figured I'd finally update what I have to do now to do the same thing that on that video basically previously with a different system. It's actually, I feel like, way more simple. It's the same kind of concept, looks exactly the same if you're kind of familiar with DS Map Studio. But anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. This is kind of a more of a quick version of on the, how to download everything. I'm not I'm gonna show you what to download, but I'm not gonna re-download everything because I already have downloaded. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you will need if you were starting from complete scratch on how to do all of this. So let's start with that. Look with all the things you need, obviously get on Nexus mod, this is all the stuff you'll need. Anti-cheat, toggler, and, you know, on and offline so you don't get banned for using mods, and that's what this is right here. You can literally hit it. Okay, now it's enabled, so if I go online with these mods, I can get banned. So I always make sure I have it disabled. You're good to go. That's step one. I would say you should always just, might as well go get mod engine now, so it'll be this page right here. I'll link these into the description or the top comment somewhere on where all these things, or at least where this is. Uh, you're going to click this, and it'll, it'll make you download it. But I already have it downloaded, which is right here. I already have that downloaded, so I already have my mod engine zipped. And then I put the unzip right next to it. I recommend, if you're stupid and hate having to find files, do what I do. Put all this to the desktop while you're doing all this, and once you're done, you can go put it where you need to go. So get, on, get mod engine too. That's another step, and then and then finally, when you're downloading Smithbox, the way you want to do it is you're going to go to the page, obviously, for it, and go hit Manual Download. You need these three things separately, so download and then run all these separately. If you already have one, you can either go find it, uninstall it, and re-download it fresh if you're worried about it being out of date or something, but this one said I already had it, and I didn't do that, in my, and it works afterwards, so it's fine the way I did it. But yeah, click on these manually, and you'll download them. I can show you that. I guess I already clicked off of this when I had it, but they're all they're downloaded today, and I already uninstalled. I already installed them, so manually click these one at a time, download and run them, and install them, and then once that's done, you'll actually hit download here. Uh, you'll hit slow download, and then once that is actually open, that that's a different file from it. So the, those three things are separate from this. So make sure you get those three things, then hit slow download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to show you that, but what it basically looked like. Turned into the Smith box zip. Then you're going to unzip it, which is what this is. Once you have all of those things, oh wait, say whatever mod you want to do, like, like I, I wanted to do a fun kind of idea for a, a challenge run in my stream, so that's why I wanted to update this, because this hasn't worked in forever, and it's the main reason I even got into the learning how to mod, because I like this mod, but it didn't work anymore, so I forgot how to update it. This is what I will be using personally to show you what I did. That's what this is here, and that's the unzipped version of it, so... Get a mod you want to update so you know it's working. You know, obviously pick an old mod that's out to date so you know this works. So you have all that. Now you're going to finally go to the unzipped version of Smithbox. Click Smithbox. Once you're in here, you got to kind of find it. So I would just type Smithbox and find the exe executable. That's what you'll open. It'll look like this at first. I don't know how clear this is, but this right here says load project or create project. Obviously, I already had the project. So, what you will do is obviously, oh, once you have the unzip things, this looks a little different because I already updated this regulation pin, but you'll want to copy and paste the mod basically you're wanting to do and have that, you know, once you have that. Drop it into the mod engine 2 folder and under mods. That's where you'll put all that first before you even uh, start messing with Smithbox. So make sure you have the mod you wanted to go, once you want to edit, ready to go into your mod folder in mod engine. Now, say you have all that, you will go to create project, project name, uh, name it whatever you want. Permabuffs. Project directory, that's where you'll go find 
where that project is. So you would go where I have all my stuff is uh, desktop. Uh, wherever that is, where did that go? Where's my desktop? Oh, stupid. Up here, brain fart. <laughs> go to your desktop. Find a mod engine. Wherever that is at. Oh, I don't see my mod engine. Oh, there it is. We're blind. And you go to mod. Because that's, that's all you have to do. It'll just be where mod is. And then you'll hit select folder. And then just your executable, that's the other important thing. You gotta find, you know, the XC for uh, Elden Ring. And the way you would do that is wherever you have Steam downloaded, mine happens to be in my Z drive. So you'd go to, you know, Steam apps, or Steam library, Steam apps, common, find the game, Elden Ring, and then game. And there's literally just this EXE right here, Elden Ring EXE. And that's it. So you'll hit create. I uh, already have it, so just hit replace. And this is where you're finally gonna what you want to do. So say you the mod you want to do is it's fine. You're not trying to like update it or anything. You just or you're not trying to like add it anything. You just wanted to update it. Okay, then that's all. You, that's all you need to do is basically you're already done because all you got to do is param editor. And the green highlights will be what is already is what's edited. So you don't have to wonder like if you want to modify even more yourself. But that. So basically all you would do is go to File, Save All, Modified Parameter. And that's it. It's already updated in your folder where you put it. Now personally, this one was a little trickier the way I wanted to do it. So I'll show you. I actually edited it more beyond just updating it because I wanted this to actually include some of the DLC items, which uh, was horrible for me because there's no IDs for the DLC items that I was trying to find. So I'll show you how that horrible that was. It took me like three hours, but I was basically, all these were, you know, I was just selecting, selecting through every empty thing to find something that matched what I was looking for. Because, you know, I'm trying to do permabuffs, so I went and, for example, let's go find some of those buffs. Where are we at? Ah, there. So Fire Grease was the one that was already existing. So I wanted to memorize kind of how this looks. So the main important thing was looking at the duration, negative one to make it infinite for the buff. So... What I did was screenshot of the important things that I needed to find to find the DLC items, you know, like I said here, and then this also fire weapon buff VFX uh, under SP effect type, and then, you know, right or left hand on, so you want to update both of those. That's the only things that I noticed about any of these grease or buffs that I'm looking for. So I went all the way down, selecting each one to find it. So I finally was able to find... DLC greases. I don't know if I got all of them, but the ones I tested that I had already in my inventory on the game, which I'll show you, worked. I had to go through all of this shit to find it. So you'll see all these numbers I just like through that were empty to find what I was looking for. I'm pretty sure it's really far down. Which is why it took so long. As soon as I find them. Where did they go? Hold on. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Ah. I think that was some of them. Uh, I don't think it's all of them, but that's a start. I could spread more way down here. There were a lot more of them. Oh wait, it renamed them after I did it. That's cool. That wasn't there before. Now now they're all named because I found them, I guess. Because these were all blank. That is freaking awesome. So, there. They already fixed it for me. I don't know why or what changed on that. But yeah. These were all blank. I had to find these manually. So, that's well, these ones I edited, edited manually. So, that's, sorry guys. That's why it took forever. And I guess I got some of these thinking there was something. Okay, cool. I don't know why. I don't know if there was a thing to do that. Because I literally, none of these were... I don't know how I updated it, maybe because I found them, it finally named them, but that's awesome. It wasn't like that before, so you don't have to suffer like I did. 
So yeah, that's how I did it. If you were looking for some manual shit, sorry if this part's kind of long and drawn on, but show you how horrible this can be, but it, it's possible. So once you save it, it's already updated where you have it, so we'll just test it, see if it works. Oh, before I did any of this, I also recommend maybe saving your original Elden Ring bin that's unregulated, like the normal bin before you mod, just because if you want to unmod and go back to vanilla, you don't have to like re-verify your integrity files and all that. And, you know, save backup if you also want to deal with that. But, uh, okay, now we'll just test it. So the way you launch it is you'll go to the mod engine. You'll unlatch the bat. And then we'll just test, test the file if it's working. And I'm pretty sure uh, my PC uh, settings are mute the way I have it for streaming, so you probably won't hear any of this game stuff. But, yeah. I'll show you how I got it. I got it to work, actually, with the DLC greases. Because these are only supposed to last a minute or so. So, put it on. And now we'll just wait. Wait here for a minute. So, while we wait, I will let you know. Uh, hope this video helped. Sorry I kind of moved quick, because last time I was really slow with it, because I was just now learning it. But I'm not trying to go through the super long processes of downloading everything manually. If you really need help on how those downloads look, I, you know, there's other tutorials out there on explaining step by step how to actually make sure you're using Mod Engine correctly. But if you're a little savvy with tech, everything should have been fine how I explained it. You know, I just skipped showing, hey, I manually downloaded it, had the folder. I already had the folders ready to go and what they look like after being unzipped. That's all I did. That, that's all I really skipped. So it's not, you know, some people drag on and on even on how to download that stuff. It's really not that complicated. I have no idea if it's been a minute yet, so we'll sit here rambling on a little more. Oh, I'm not really rambling, but yeah. So I hope this video helped. If it did, you know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ask uh, any questions you may or may not have. I'm new at this too, so I'm kind of learning with you guys as well, but... Someone dumb like me can obviously do it too, so don't be afraid. And the only thing I know, you need some type of PC requirements, obviously. I feel like if you could run Elden Ring, you could obviously run Smithbox. So I don't really know why people bring that up in any videos I've looked up trying to explain all this. But yeah, it's clearly been over a minute, and it, as you see, it works with the DLC grease. Because my problem when I first updated the regular spin, I noticed the DLC grease isn't working. Like, great, I have to go find these manually, which. I almost gave up because I haven't tried Googling specific Reddit posts looking for, hey, does anyone know the ID names for these DLC items? Which, as you see, they finally put. I don't know why they weren't there to begin with, but they finally updated, which is cool. So you all don't even have to see that struggle, but say you were in that same predicament, that's all, at least I went over with how I found it. If you can, like, recognize what you're looking for, it's possible, which is what I did <laughs> originally. But I'm glad I don't have to now if I wanted to go back and mess with those. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. That's how you, mer then you can merge regulation bins too. So obviously if you had two other mods, do the same stuff. Go look at the same editor uh, params, edit it. The green, you know, highlight. You can merge them all together by highlight, getting all the highlights that equal each other's stuff. So if someone wants more in depth on how that works to actually combine two mods, let me know. But I'm pretty sure it'd be the same thing. You would just have your current project loaded. Like say the one we just edited, you'd have that loaded and saved or whatever, and then you would open, I think, your new mod with while the other one's open, and it should just automatically merge, I think. I, I think. I don't remember how that exactly works. Uh, I can look into it if anyone's straight up curious. As I did this before, too. <coughs> Excuse me. To, uh, I've done this before, like, before all the DLC came out with DS Map Studio. I used this to merge co-op mod with the permabuffs and uh, all that. But, you don't want the trouble of doing this and obviously this this mod's pretty cool i like it i'm going to actually upload this mods the one i just made updated version of this with some dlc items i will actually add this to my modding page so you can actually get this specific mod if it looks interesting to you but other than that uh i will see you all next time and hope this helped